Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday the 25th of May 2017. So, interesting uh, day yesterday, Fed Minutes were out, uh, more on that in uh, just a moment. Let's do something different today, we'll start off with the uh, British Pound, you can see uh, this moving lower uh, towards the end of the trading session. We've got a black dot here, and that's because of this but you shouldn't have been in the market to have this as a losing trade. And the reason for that is uh, the live chart here. You can see that uh, the market was uh, short, it came back, and here we have the Fed announcement that's going to be released into the market. And as I say, in all of these videos, there are some economic news items you can be in the market with. A lot of the, the high impact ones, except for Fed announcements, central bank announcements, and the non-farm payroll figures. So you should have been out of this market before this announcement. And as you will see here, there were five points on the table uh, before the market uh, did this, where we had uh, the spike in prices and we see prices in the pound moving higher after. Now I just spent a bit of time on the pound actually and the reason why I say we're in a new bull market, if we look at the weekly chart there you can see that prices are moving higher. We've also got the green PTP signals and in the monthly chart you can see we're breaking out and moving to the upside as well in the pound. But more importantly a dollar chart. This is a monthly dollar chart and you can see that the trend is down the dollar is falling sharply it uh, had a bit of a, a rally after trump got in and then it has now gone south and behind the scenes uh, things are really starting to unravel in the financial markets it's not being reported by the mainstream it never is because they only report news of when something has happened they don't uh, forecast or predict anything now the US dollar we know is the world reserve currency uh, but we have a serious debt problem which I'm not going to go into in this video because I've recorded other videos on that but uh, the dollar is starting to lose its uh, dominance and that's why the pound is uh, moving higher so keep that in mind we get uh, the June election if May gets in then we're going to see the pound rally again as well something else you want to keep an eye on as well which is happening in the background this is bitcoin if you've never heard of bitcoin you are going to there's a lot of these what are called cryptocurrencies these are an alternative to the central banking system they were set up independently and uh, you can see from this chart i mean that the line is actually uh, vertical in uh, the way these are actually moving there are some of these cryptocurrencies that have increased by 20 to 30 times in the last month and again, for me, this isn't just a tulip mania bubble. This is a sign that things are starting to fall apart behind the scenes. And again, you tie that in with the dollar chart. You can see that um, moving lower. Alternative currencies uh, to protect assets. And also, uh, once uh, JP Morgan and um, all of the other banks who have been fined for uh, manipulating gold and silver, you're going to see them spike higher as well going forward uh, this uh, summer. So let's move on to the Dow and uh, see what uh, happened now. I'm just going to wind things back. Uh, you can see in the first part of the session, we've got uh, the Dow putting in a buy signal, moving higher. There was enough momentum to actually hit the buy, sorry, not the buy signal, the, uh, the scalp. You'll see prices come back and move up there. Now here's a, an example of a high impact news item. Uh, this is the, the release of the crude oil figures. And again, you've heard me say this a million times, but for those of you that are new to PPT, about a year and a half ago, uh, well 2014, crude oil lost 70% of its value. So crude oil was upgraded from a medium impact news item to a um, high impact news item. And when they released the figures on a weekly basis, we used to get a, a really big reaction. But now, as you will see here, the market doesn't really care. You know, we just got this bit of 
bit of a, a spike and then that's it and then it took a good 20 minutes or so before the market moved lower so this in my opinion this economic news item needs to be reverted back to a medium impact one which again is no big deal if you're actually in the market you don't want to be with the fed announcement central banks non-farm payrolls etc but the crude oil one as i've said for a long time now is mislabeled in uh, my opinion so anyway the market's then sideways because it's waiting for the fed's uh, announcement we get a bit of reaction and again really uh, even though i've just said you shouldn't be in when the the fed announcement and you shouldn't because one day they're going to come out with something that's going to uh, trigger a, a major move in the market but you can see there the reaction is uh, it's certainly bigger than what we've had uh, prior to this as we've waited for it but again it's nothing like we had two or three years ago where we'd have a hundred point spike in one bar so again the market's getting used to the Fed uh, not doing a lot or the same old uh, sort of uh, rhetoric that they keep pumping out that the economy is fine etc when uh, we know full well if you follow the market alert this is not uh, true at all we've not had a recover recovery uh, there's no uh, recovery whatsoever it's just uh, a bought uh, recovery four trillion on the Fed's uh, balance sheet is what it is but uh, the market trades sideways and eventually it uh, moves uh, back to the upside before the close and hits the uh, the scalp there uh, just gets in there and hits it and let's have a look at the news behind the move uh, fragile markets US equities uh, futures for flash crash for no good reason uh, yes they they slammed the the Russell that moved down and then they uh, brought it back by uh, moving the VIX lower by selling into the VIX as it says here stock surges VIX crushed to nine handle despite Fed warning of risk to financial stability oh welcome to the party about time uh, again in a video that I recorded about all of the bubbles that have been created stock market bubble bond bubble housing bubble you only have to go through zero hedge yesterday to see how the housing bubble is uh, now being uh, spoken of um, as house prices are doubling in Los Angeles and around the globe and whatever Fed warns vulnerabilities from elevated asset valuations pose risk to financial stability again the, the, these people are morons honestly they're, they're always yeah, this is a, a damage limitation on their part this is just so that they can say well actually we thought there was a bubble Bernanke denied there was a bubble in 2008 and we all saw what happened there but this time we have three bubbles and once this volatility kicks off it's going to be the party of all parties for traders because when you when you're forewarned about what's coming then you can actually take uh, uh, and make uh, positions to take advantage of it and I know it's coming because of the last thing which we're going to look at is the implied volatility and actually I'm going to look at this chart first this is the one I would normally use because I just want to show you something we have a new record uh, low in the implied volatility 792 we haven't seen this for some time and when I mean some time I'm talking 2006 2007 we know what happened in 2008 so 792 is the 24th of May low and now let's have a look at the chart that I produce with this in it's where the it's a, a bit clearer to actually so here you've got uh, the volatility down 7 92 new low we've broken the sideways move that we had across here you can see that's been taken out yesterday 792 new low the lower this goes the bigger the correction is going to be in the market no doubts uh, about that we saw this um, uh, a week or two ago where we had the market drop 300 points but then the plunge protection team came in and did the thing one day they're not going to come in because the bubbles are getting bigger and bigger and bigger the valuations are getting greater and greater and at some point they will have to stop doing it they keep doing it they've been doing it since 2011 but at some point they will have to stop and now we have this new um, low record low in the implied volatility which to me is alarm bells for uh, traders that the short side isn't uh, too far away in this market 
Right, so that will do it for this morning. I will report in if I see anything. And actually, what we need to have a look at is what economic news we've got to out today. So let's just have a quick look at. Right, let's have a look at the news. Uh, getting carried away by the potential excitement that's going to be uh, coming shortly. Uh, what have we got uh, out this afternoon? Um, no, just got Brainard speaking at uh, 3 p.m. That's all there is. When the Dow is open, there's nothing really for the pound. So 9.30, you've got a second estimate GDP quarter on quarter that's projected to be the same so uh, as forecast, so not a problem. Okay, let's have a, a look at the Dow chart as well before uh, we finish. Uh, so something very interesting going on here, which I nearly overlooked. You can see that uh, already the market is uh, moving higher. We've taken out the 21,073. The market's moving up strongly on the overnight, and we're heading for uh, the all-time high of 21,000. Uh, 172 that's uh, going back some time here way back in uh, March when we actually hit uh, this high so watch out for the market uh, moving higher notice also that yesterday's price bar which is this one the market was on low volume so we haven't got any buying this is just manipulation moving the markets back to the all-time highs i've been saying for weeks in the market alert they want the markets back on the highs and that's exactly what we're seeing they want it back on the highs before they actually dump it if you look in the five minute chart you can see that the buying has taken place uh, in the pre-market session on the overnight so we have a bit of volatility in this market we've moved up uh, nearly 100 points in the overnight session so the volatility is starting to improve uh, but this is for the upside so upside momentum is there at the moment also just going to go back to the news let me tell you why it's doing it and that's going to be because of this we've got uh, a bank holiday in europe today the german market is closed the french market is closed and this leaves the Dow free to move higher without the Europeans selling into it as well. Right, I think that is it now. Uh, these uh, market alerts are getting uh, too long. I don't want you to sit and listen to me droning on for this length of time. I'd like to keep them at most to around six to seven minutes, but there's a lot uh, starting to happen in the background that you should be aware of. So this is the reason why they've uh, increased slightly. So I uh, hope it's not too much of a bore but uh, very important information that uh, you need to know about to build the picture so you know what's uh, coming down the line been here before many times so uh, again apologies if it's uh, too much but uh, it is important that you have this information to hand right that's it we're reporting if i see anything uh, all i can say at the moment is the dow is obviously building some momentum to the upside heading back to the all-time high in the pre-market session let's see how this pans out going uh, forward this morning right that's it see you in the next one thanks for watching